Hi oh, folks, welcome to another Toolbox Tuesday. Um, I'm not just going to do my toolbox today, I'm going to sort of go through a couple of other little bits, like what I've been up to, because I've been quite busy over the past couple of days, that's why I haven't really sort of done much video. Well, I've done a lot of videoing, but nothing's been put up, because it's all sort of here, there, everywhere. So anyway, let's get into the toolbox. So, here she is. Um, today, I'm going to go with this drawer. This is my panel beating drawer. I think I, I do a lot of metal work. Instead of showing you my mechanics tools all the time, let's actually show you some panel beating tools. So, here's my collection of hammers. Not not as much as Arco's, but, you know, I've got, I've got a few. They're mostly snap-on ones. You know, I bought uh, a whole set of these. You know, I've got that one. A little bit of a shrinking hammer. Obviously, that one doesn't actually get used that much. And I've got me tiny little hammer. So I can get into like door panels and stuff like that. Generally use these two the most, you know, for, for sort of panel making. Then I've got this one. This was my very, very first panel beating hammer. Now this is a trident. These these are only about I don't know, part number on it as well still. Come on, focus in there. Come on. There we go. Um yeah, so there's part number for it. Um, these are really nice. These are only like 20 odd quid off of Amazon. And I absolutely love it. You know, the, I, I still use it. Um, I would tend to use these for panel making. I tend to use this one now for just welding. You know, because if you're hitting weld, you don't want to mar up your head. Because um, whatever sort of is, is on your heads is actually what's going to end up on your panel. So you want to keep it as clean as possible. So this one I tend to use when I'm just welding for sort of tapping panels in. And stuff like that and then i use these for my actual panel making and i've got some cheaper ones here that i bought i got these off of um facebook actually you know with like different radiuses on the crowns you know that's sort of almost like a ball pin that you know, sort of compound there some nylon manic for my sandbag there's another snap on one there that i sort of picked up over the years my little slapper, then my little um, slide hammer. I only actually used this once, to be fair. It just stays in there. Then we've got uh, a load of shoe anvils, varying different sizes, and then just crap, really. You know, this is a tool for doing that little recess on the wheel arches, as you can see here. This is for making the uh, Drainage cuts at the bottom of the rear quarter on the air school. Um, some post dollars that I made. You see, that's an old exhaust pipe. You know that I'd used for uh, replenishing. It's just a normal tow dolly that I put a post on. This is the post dolly I made in that video. As you can see, I did sort of clean it up a little bit with the uh, linisher. That's the other half of the uh, what I'd cut off, and then that bit as well is. As you can see there, it's got the curve in there. That was the bit that went over there. So, there we go. Parallel grips. These are a handy sort of cl uh, clipping onto sort of panels. Um, put a chain around that, and then you can use it with a slide hammer. And then I've got this, this is a little tool I made for doing. Um, returns fucking focus um like doing like wheel arch returns i used actually made this for the golf wheel arch I uh, go check out that video it's one of my earlier ones um <coughs> then i've got all my dollies here you yeah. know a lot of these are snap on like i said i bought a whole set of these and come in like a massive box so i've got that one that one and that one they're, they're all snap on i don't know the uh, specific names of these but you know Consider being used. Then I've got a, a cheaper one there. Once cleaning up. So, so yeah, there's just that's my, that's my panel beating drawer. You know, various different things. So like I said, I have actually been quite busy. Um, these are this is all my consumables uh, in here. The, this was all over the place. So I removed it. So you know, I've gone through sorted everything out. Got these little pots on washers and stuff um, these are great i've got these from asda and these are 
It's like three for a pound. And like literally the perfect size for all the shit in there. So like this is all my odds and ends. Some random hooks there. Nuts and bolts and right now these are all my nuts, riv nuts. Back there. And some bolts. So like I said, you know, these these are awesome, these are. And then obviously the old uh, takeaway tops, these are angled feet. Yeah, for the bigger stuff. But, uh, and they'll they actually fit in these drawers absolutely fucking beautiful. Um had a right touch with that. So yeah, um there's a couple of other things I need to do. I, I need to I've got this these uh, runners here these are to go on my gaming chair this fucking thing here because this chair doesn't adjust I built this for myself and that don't adjust and then I've got this seat here so I'm gonna get that done I'm gonna try and get that done today actually um, I need to take all this fucking bracketry off and then fit that and then make it adjustable but I'm also doing this as well right uh, this is for my spits I'm going to do a video on both of these separately, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But yeah, this is from the Spitz, so I can uh, mount the car on it. So I've got two wheel bearings, and then I need to make some flanges out. I've got this 8mm plate here. That heavy duty shit. So I need to make two flanges each for like mounting these up on either side. Oh, so, so yeah, uh, busy, busy times. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, I'm going to keep doing these every Tuesday. Hope everybody sort of follows along as well because this is quite fun to do and sort of see what people have got. Um, please go check out my Teespring store. You know, I've got all my merch in there. You know, we've got t-shirts, uh, jumpers, uh, we've got some kids' clothes as well, cups, mugs, all in various different colours. So please go check that out. Um, go check out the rest of the uh, YouTube community. You've got Ralphie Customs. Um, all, all the li links for these will be in the uh, description. So we've got Ralphie Customs. Um, Arco and Heidi at Outlaw Edge. We've got Joey Collins at Mill Creek Fab Shop. We've got uh, Pepito at Pepito's Casa de Welding. And then uh, the, the new one to the group is uh, Maiko, Maiko Knight. Um, his channel's up and coming. So yeah, go give them all a like, go give them all a sub. Uh, drop in the comments that uh, Danny sent you. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye.